Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and assembly and full review of this Mr. Ironstone L-shaped desk 50.8 inches computer, corner desk, home gaming and so on and so on. This uh, has been listed for around $150 and I've ordered it about one month ago and I put it together yesterday. I made a couple of pictures and small videos and going to share that now for you so you know how easy it is to assemble it and how sturdy it is, how flexible, uh, how good everything fits, how the quality is, everything. So make sure you watch to the very end because I have a couple of really important important things to say about this desk here so it looks pretty good i mean it has really good reviews 178 good or at least 178 reviews most of them are really good and i'm not saying it, it's a bad desk uh, but there are some things which are really important to know here we have the size measurements everything so you can see how you could uh, do that if you buy two of them you can see that you can switch like the place where you have the screen if you want to put the screen like on this small table here you can uh, switch this from the left side to the right side so that's the idea here no obstacle uh, design so there's nothing here this, this is really good i mean i really like that there is nothing to block your feet or your chair or whatever you have like uh, there's just uh, I mean there are uh, these things here these metal uh, things here in the back but nothing in the front so you can sit and put your knees underneath the table that's really good and these are the other pictures and here you have even 360 degrees view but you can do that on your own you don't have to watch this video so the reason why you watch this video is of course you want to see how this works and now i'm going to show you that so here's my first picture this is how it looked like it came exactly in this box here and it uh, yeah i don't know if it has to do with how they ship but it arrived in pretty good condition i have already ordered different uh, tables I mean like desks and some of them uh, came arrived in really bad condition from Amazon not this one here it arrived in really good condition I don't know if it has to do with uh, Mr. Ironstone or if it's just like lucky but it really arrived in good condition so here's my first short video you can see how to open the box really nothing really spectacular yeah you can see yeah you have to cut all the tape of course and then you open that and uh, yeah here is how it looks inside there's a couple of uh, insulation here of course to protect that's also really good so nothing has been damaged nothing not a single piece no scratches no nothing you see it has these nice corners here and everything is nicely protected it has different layers in between i think yeah it is really well organized well protected they have to done really a good job regarding packaging everything is on its proper place it would be really difficult to put it back and send it back so you better make sure you uh, order it if you all, if you really like it so you don't have to send it back you can see here all the parts yeah that's it for regarding the unboxing yeah here you can see the uh, instructions very detailed i'm going to show you more about that later so here's something really important the screws are really nicely uh, yeah they are uh, have numbers like uh, this is the one this is the only one which doesn't have a number but it's the one which uh, has the most screws so you can see that's number one that's two three four five everything is here we also has have this allen wrench here to secure we have the feet here which are here so everything uh, pretty good package pretty good prepared everything also this uh, hardware list and everything is pretty good then how i have prepared this i put like uh, something on the floor like a huge towel um, yeah to protect i mean i have tiles so i didn't want to damage the desk and uh, so i put this to uh, at the bottom so if you don't have a carpet just make sure you put something down to protect the top of the desk the only problem with such a towel here which i've used uh, is that it can be 
squeezed uh, in between these panels here and I have noticed so whenever you use such a towel just make sure like here you can see there's a gap and at the end you have to push these panels together and you may have to make sure that you don't squeeze this towel so otherwise uh, it's locked in and uh, you have to uh, untighten the screws again at the end so it could be really bad so when you're using an electric drill or screwdriver make sure you use the lowest position here i've been using the position one and it worked pretty good uh, it's almost a little bit too much to pre-secure so in the instructions that we recommend to uh, secure most of the screws only with 50% you can see that here only 50% and usually uh, the number one here with my electric screwdriver or drill has been a little bit too much sometimes I did secure it and then I just put it a little bit back so that worked pretty good so here just a general example how good this works everything has numbers or uh, letters i mean yeah here we have the a in the description and the a then as a letter on the uh, desk another option is to just use like uh, bits or so with your hand so usually that works also pretty good at some screws it might be a little bit too hard but usually that works pretty good as well so most of the screws are pretty good accessible so they are from the top or side there are very few screws like this here it's super difficult to uh, secure them here so I did it with, uh, with the hands a little bit and then after that with the Allen wrench with the short side it works but it, it can be a little bit uh, a problem you can see that here so you have to uh, use it a couple of times till you uh, have it secured it really doesn't work with electric uh, uh, screwdriver or drill you really have to do it like this a couple of times uh, but there are not many of these screws uh, that's that's really rare here and also regarding the fit most of the parts they fit perfectly there are very very few parts which do not fit perfectly I think that's the the bow here this piece here in between which is bent uh, that's the only part which I had where I had to apply a little bit of pressure to bend it uh, inside so it fit but it was not crazy and all the uh, other parts they fit perfectly so we are already coming towards the end of the video but there's still a lot of really uh, important things to say so here you can see how it looks i mean it's nice yeah it has this obstacle free uh, thing design everything looking good the, but the problem is a little bit of course when you have this obstacle free design yeah it has less stability i mean of course that's some of the uh, trade-offs which you have i mean from the top it's pretty uh, stable when you push down but when you lift it up you can see and you lift it up uh, from the side you can easily lift and then it bends the the top the plates uh, the other panels they they bend a little bit because there's yeah just this strap missing at the, at the bottom you can see you can lift it up that's not good especially if you are planning to move so you cannot uh, move this thing in one piece it's po impossible uh, otherwise you probably will break or I mean you can do that you have to be uh, but you have to be super careful if you have like professional movers yeah I'm not sure if they don't break it and the other thing here is uh, yeah that's a screw here that screw for the uh, monitor stand on top you also have to screw to uh, add screws underneath uh, the uh, panels or the plates and uh, they just do not fit and I have the right screws they have I think it's number four or so they have the specific number and I've tried I mean on one side it works and on the other side it 
just doesn't work you can uh, screw and screw and screw and it just uh, drills like empty and also on the other side i mean there where it fits like here that's very very uh, just a very few hold i mean it's uh, really prone to break off anytime soon and here it doesn't work at all so that doesn't fit and i yeah i mean you would have to probably buy new screws go uh, to home depot or lois and buy a little bit longer screws that's a little bit a pain that shouldn't happen i haven't uh, found any workaround for that i mean you have a couple of screw number one left but they are too long you would drill like through the whole panel here and that wouldn't be good so uh yeah that's uh that's one thing which is really not good and the other thing when you look at this design uh yeah the whole thing is i mean it's connected through the corner and the corner is part of the stability so you cannot remove the corner and still have these two desks that's not working it's not possible that's uh, uh, one of the problems here with this design so if you think you buy this as a corner and if you don't need the corner you just remove the corner and then you have two small desks that's not working it's impossible no matter what you do i mean you would to have to do crazy things i mean the corner is really part of the stability and not only a part of the stability it's uh, just uh, uh, almost virtually impossible to really have it without the corner so yeah these are the things i mean in general i would say it's a good thing it's stable yeah i've been trying to push down really hard and no matter where you push i mean these things here for the monitors for the screens they are a little bit weak maybe it has to do because uh, there are no screws here but i have the impression that it's a little bit weak but that the rest from the desk is really stable you could almost stand on it and uh, yeah it, it is really uh, stable you can push down everywhere uh, really stable almost everywhere that's the good thing so you can push down everywhere really hard no problem but to lift up like just move it around holding it on the outside doesn't work so you have to uh, it's better to use maybe three people or so to move it a little bit around you have to be really careful you just uh, you cannot just lift it uh, up uh, on the outer side it is because of this obstacle free design that makes it a little bit less stable when lifting this uh, thing up but when pushing down it's no problem at all so back to the listing i can definitely give you recommendation not not perfectly full recommendation but i, I think at least 90 percent and the, the, this represents also the reviews you can see i mean it has an average of 4.4 i mean it's not a 100 percent but most of the people seem to be pretty happy uh, there's a huge chance that you get it uh, in perfect condition uh, by amazon delivered no damage i mean i haven't seen something like that a, a desk with so many pieces and there was not a single scratch or dent or anything i mean it was really in perfect condition everything every single piece and they all fit almost perfectly together except this piece which i had to bend just a little bit and it was not crazy but everything fits all the screws everything really nice instructions you can do that i mean i have been able to uh, assemble that a single i mean me alone i have been able to put this together assemble this fully just on my own with no help at all in 60 minutes very relaxed uh, taking a lot of time to read the full manual instructions put the part uh, yeah i mean unwrap the parts uh, put them together uh, gather everything together what i need like screwdrivers and drill and so on so but if you have to uh, flip it around then like to this uh, shape here so you you can really use i i wouldn't recommend to do this 
alone or, or, or you have to be at least super super careful not to break it because yeah it's not so super stable and yeah also again the screws here for the desk i mean for the monitor stand yeah they are definitely not good they do not fit uh, if you want to use that you will have to buy uh, additional screws which really fit that's a little bit of a pain but apart from that i would say yeah, it's a nice thing yeah the feet yeah maybe that's a last thing the feet you have to screw them in and they are rotatable so they do not have a real lock i mean you can definitely secure them but if you want to uh, remove them at a later point if you get into a situation where you have to remove the feet uh, i mean uh, usually actually you would leave them on even for transportation but if you want to remove it could be that they are stuck and re can be really difficult to remove because they do not have like a lock where you can secure uh, them that's a little bit of a problem but not so much but i think in general it's a good thing the price yeah, okay it's not the cheapest thing but it, it has a lot of metal parts it's everything nicely built really precise and have, has a good fit so i don't think it's it's too expensive it's not a super cheap thing but everything works pretty well so i can give you uh, quite a good level of confidence that it will or that it can work for you too uh, for me it definitely works uh, my wife has already tried it works pretty good yeah regarding the size i mean height and everything works good you have to be just aware of that that it's a rather it's not such a deep desk it's a like a more like a, a narrow desk so you can see from the keyboard here definitely it's not a huge desk it's it's not a really deep desk so it's it's more a lightweight desk like more for computer work but still there's a lot of uh, space to to put some paperwork why not so and yeah for me definitely works i'm happy or my wife is uh, happy with that it's not going to go back definitely not we keep this thing and uh, yeah i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there as soon as it comes back to amazon and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time